Hey, my name is Joshua Stenhouse and I'm a field CTO at Rubrik for Cyber Resilience. And in this demo video, I'm going to take you through how Rubrik delivers an air gap and immutable backup platform that guarantees the recovery of your data and security against a ransomware attacker trying to compromise your backup platform. So let's start by just level setting on a few key terms that we need to be aware of. So air gap, what is an air gap? An air gap simply means you have none, your backups are online, they can be edited, accessed, yada yada. A logical air gap means that your backups are offline, they can't be accessed from the network. And a physical air gap means that they are physically disconnected. And the best example of a physical air gap I can give you is a tape-based backup, which we can all agree that a ransomware attacker cannot compromise. The next core concept is immutability. And this purely defines whether something can or cannot be edited. Is it mutable or immutable? And this is important for backups to guarantee that an attacker can't edit your backups, can't encrypt the data or modify it and remove your ability to recover. But it itself does not protect you from the attacker simply expiring and deleting the backups, which is a separate concept. And that's just this idea of a retention lock. Can I stop a compromised admin account, a backup admin from expiring, arbitrarily expiring my backups and removing my protection? And so what I'm going to take you through is how Rubrik delivers this, where we can give you a logical air gap to take your backups offline. We can make it so that it cannot be edited and they cannot be expired. And also talk about how you can also layer on a physical air gap too and why you would or wouldn't need to consider that. So let's just start by looking at a traditional backup infrastructure. It has backup software, it has proxies, it has media agents, it has a catalog database, sometimes it's Windows based, sometimes it's got some Linux, sometimes a mix. And the key thing with a legacy backup architecture is that the backups are not air gapped, they're not immutable, they're accessible from the network, they can be modified and they can be deleted. Anything that is using a standard storage protocol, in fact, is open to compromise. So the backup storage that they're writing to, your traditional disk-based dedupe target, is also compromisable. And it doesn't matter whether it's 30 years old or brand new and they're saying, hey, this is a modern solution. They're taking the legacy architecture, they're putting in a hypervisor. The hypervisor itself is also vulnerable and therefore they're not changing the security posture and a major attack is an unrecoverable event from your production data center. And this is why these vendors are going to try and sell you a third lot of a backup infrastructure and put in a physical air gap because they know that the first copy is completely open to attack and compromisable. So the only way to secure this legacy architecture is a physical air gap. If we compare this to what Rubrik changed in the market five years ago, Rubrik came along with the first hyperconverged backup software and backup storage and table stakes for the industry, HTML5, API first, cloud integrated, scale out, instantly mount your data. Everybody now says that they can do this. And this is what Rubrik changed five years ago. But the other thing Rubrik changed that no one can emulate is that by collapsing the stack down, whereby you can't buy the storage separately, it's intertwined with the backup software. It means that Rubrik gives you a logically air-gapped backup platform because there is no storage online or on the network. The backups cannot be accessed from any compromised server. And on top of that, we built our own proprietary file system that is natively immutable. It is append only. So there is no physical way to edit an existing backup once written. You put those together and all that means is that from any compromised server in your environment, there is no way that an attacker can access the backups. They can't steal the information from the backup platform. They can't edit them. They can't view the file system. There is no access whatsoever. There is no physical way they can compromise your backup platform and remove your ability to recover. And so now when a major attack becomes a recoverable event from the first copy. So this means that you do not need a physical air gap in order to protect your backups with Rubrik, but you still might want to consider at least two Rubrik clusters or sending the data instantly to cloud to get a copy of the data offsite. And Rubrik does also have physical air gap options where you might want to consider that just for a clean space, a green room in order to recover, but that isn't required to protect the backups. That's just a third rubric cluster in a smaller environment. So you have that clean room space to recover 
it's not required to protect your data. Now, that being said, Rubrik must still have an interface. It must still be software and an operating system. So what is actually on the network? Well, the only thing on the network is the Rubrik interface and CLI over SSH. And those are protected by, first of all, Rubrik not just giving you the software and you're responsible for the operating system. It's a custom hardened build of Linux where we're removing all the services that are not required. It's pre-hardened and it's constantly patched and maintained from Rubrik to ensure the end-to-end -end security. We build on our immutable file system, end-to-end -end encryption with TLS 1.2 and a zero trust design, which simply means that there is no way an attacker can spoof and impersonate a Rubrik node on the network. There's no way that they can sniff or intercept any of the, track it, the, the traffic, so it is a bunker in a box. But there's still a login, there's still a backup admin. How do we protect that? And that's with built-in multi-factor authentication. So RSA, Secure ID, Duo, anything SAML 2.0 compliant out the box. And we also have built-in time-based one-time passwords. So any Android or iOS device within 30 seconds can scan a QR code and protect any local or AD account. And we always recommend a combined approach where you might use your multi-factor corporate-wide system for all of your federated logins for self-service but then for a local user account, which you probably use in the event of an attack where you can't guarantee your directory service or internet connection is even online, then you don't want that itself to be a backdoor and that's where you're gonna secure it with the built-in TOTP. We still need to protect against a compromised account, a rogue admin, and therefore the final thing that we layer on is a retention lock. And so this simply stops any bad actor in their tracks because there is no way they can unassign the protection, shorten the retention, change or remove archival or replication settings, reset a cluster, change the time and poison it, and it's Cohasset and FINRA compliant. And so when you combine an air gap with immutability, multi-factor authentication, and the retention lot, this is how Rubrik guarantees the recoverability of your data in the event of a ransomware attack. And to just to give you a little glimpse of what that looks like, here's a rubric interface. I'm an attacker on your network. All I have is this and SSH. I've compromised your Active Directory. I'm now gonna try and log into your backup platform to remove your ability to recover because there's nothing else accessible on the network. And it doesn't matter whether you're using the HTML5 interface or trying to SSH in. I put in my username and password. If you don't have my device, you are not getting into this backup platform and that is how Rubrik secures your backups from the attacker.